Right, so this is Melon Ball. Looking pretty sad in here, this one. So I will show you the Melon Ball here itself. I'm not sure. I'll quickly pace it out for you. Right, so the quick pace out, I don't have the longest legs, but um, it's about uh, six meters down this side and about seven meters across the top there. So it basically starts on the corner here um, where that old corn bit is just there because this is the the um, mound, mounded bed here with the trellising and then it goes all the way across and just past about a metre past the end of where that pole is the old fencing and then um, you can just see the retic system here and all the way down to just in front of me so it's about seven metres this side and six metres this other way so this is today's project Hoping it's not going to take me too long. Uh, but I think it actually might take me a little while to get it done. Um, so basically what the plan here is, is that I'm going to hand pull out as much of the big weeds that are in here as I can. So that all these weeds in this section here will all get pulled out. And then you can see there's an awful lot of grass. So anything that's grass in here, I'm pretty much just going to um, mow it. I'll take the retic system out first and then I will um, mow it all down. So all this section here, there's a good, good section of it here, which is all that creeping grass. Um, so I'm just going to mow it down. Um, and so once it's mown down, I've got a really old tarp that I usually put my compost on, but I've got no compost in at the moment. So I'm going to repurpose that tarp and I'm going to actually, I'm hoping it will actually go over the entire area, but I may have to get a couple of cheap ones. I'm going to actually cover the whole area with tarp um, once I've whipper snipped and pulled out what I can. And hopefully that tarp will act like a, a mulch um, and it'll block out the sun. So basically I'm hoping that it will actually kill off this grass over the next couple of months because I won't be planting in this garden bed here until um, probably the beginning of summer, uh, which is a couple of months away yet. So, but that is the plan I've got up in here. Um, I'm doing this so that you guys can see and see if it might be something that will work for you uh, for a large area that you've got a lot of the grass and stuff in. Um, so basically I'm going to do this and then I will bring you an update in a few months time and see whether it actually has worked and how well it's done. So alright guys I've remembered where the pitchfork is. It's down in the hay shed. So I'll go and put some hay out for this horse and then um, we'll get on and get this garden bed all pulled up and hopefully cleaned out as much as I can today. So I have a, having a little laugh moment of myself here guys. A couple of days ago I gathered up all my gloves to give them a wash through the machine and I went and grabbed two off the line just now. Um, so this is my right hand and this is my left hand. Somehow I have managed to pick up, because they got the same colour bands, they're both green. Um, you can't see this one at the second. So yeah, anyway, they've both got green bands on the bottoms of them. So I just grabbed two, not thinking about the fact that I actually have more than one pair of these particular gloves. So that's the back of my hand, that is the front of my hand. So I now have to go back up the house and get the glove that goes with the other glove. Guys, I've got both the right gloves on now, one for each hand. I've got my fork and my barrow and we are going to get this cleared out and uh, see how we get on today.
So the more I get into that that area, the more I realise that it's going to be near impossible to actually pull out most of those weeds. Um, so I'm, I've pulled out one of the retic lines. I've got another one. I'm going to pull that out. And then I'm just going to bring the wallop right on down in here and I'm going to just mow it and cut it all back. Um, that grass in there has taken over so much that even just pulling out the rechick system um well i had to actually break a lot of them because it was going over the top of it um so but what i have pulled out of there is this stuff it's deadly nightshade um so you can see i'll find this one here this has little green berries on it um this is a poisonous plant it can look similar to like a tomato plant sort of thing, but it is definitely not, or a, um, pumpkin, a potato plant, but it's not. These little berries, they are per per poisonous. Um, once they go purple, which a lot have these have, um, they then become um, ready to spawn more plants. So I have ripped these out. These guys will go up onto the burn pile and the rest of what's there it's just too hard so I am just going to pull that last retic system out and I'm just going to get the mower in here and I'm just going to mow the out of it um, so I have pulled most of the big stuff out um, but yeah there is so much grass in here so this stuff is just This is that creeper grass. So this is that creeper grass. And you can see how thick it is. I am physically not going to be able to just pull this off out. So I think my best option is just to mow it. It's getting to almost knee height in here. So I'm just going to pull this retic out. And then I am just going to uh, mow it. And just making sure I get any more of that deadly nightshade out that I see so it doesn't spread too much further. has become worst case scenario guys I was hoping it wouldn't get to this point where it was physically impossible for me to pull it out but it has so um so yeah I'm just gonna get in there I'm gonna get it mowed if I need to bring the whippersnipper down I'll do that um, and uh, then I will get that tarp down here and I will get that covered up and um, hopefully that will do the job that I want it to do so I'm gonna go up and grab the ride on and make sure it's ready to go and i know my ride on sounds overkill for this little section but it's just going to be that bit easier um than using the whipper snipper so and uh, i might actually get some other mowing done while i'm at it <laughs>
Alright guys, it's probably a little bit harder to see now. The sun is starting to come uh, behind the trees. Uh, but it is all mowed, all nice and as low as I can possibly get it. I've just got the grass in the um, thing here. I'll probably just try and pull that out by hand. So now I'm going to go up and grab the tarp and uh, get the tarp put across here and see how far it's going to go. Morning guys, about eight days ago I um, started the new project on the um, melon ball patch and just as I was putting out the tarp my neighbours came home and um, I don't do recording when my neighbours are home because I do catch them in the back of my um, video footage so I had to stop recording that day. Um, so today I've just quickly ducking down here to show you the finished product of what happened down in Melon Ball. So you would have seen in all the video how much grass there was and what I did with it and I got up to placing the tarp out. So basically then what I did was I grabbed some large rocks out of my rock pile and um, placed them on the tarps and uh, to hold the tarps down. So and what I'm actually going to do today is I'm going to peel back a bit of the tarp and take a look and see after eight days um, what has happened and if it's actually doing what I actually want it to do so but first I'm going to give you a quick look and show you um, how I've got it all um, held down with the the rocks so this is melon ball here um, you can see I've got the tarp on there and you can see I've placed around the edges the big rocks that are out of the garden now today is quite windy so it seems to be holding the tarp down quite well um, we have a fair bit of weather coming through this week so um, but yeah so it's covered most of the area um, this small section on the end here I actually grabbed a piece of tin and popped that on there um, because this is a part of the garden which has an awful lot of the uh, the grass in it so So yeah, so you can see like this section down here didn't get covered up. Um, so, but that'll give me a good indication to whether or not the tarp is doing what I need it to do. Bear is over here today. He is whinging because the neighbor's dog has come out to say hello to him and he likes running up and down the fence line with her. So.
So this is one of the corners I've just pulled back. Um, it doesn't look like there's a lot dying off, but like I said, it's only been on here eight days. Um, but I can see, but you might be able to see that the grass has changed some color. This bit here is not under the tarp. This is about the edge here. Um, so it is changing color a little bit. So it hopefully will continue doing what I want it to do. So yeah, it does seem to be killing it off a little bit. Like I said, it's only been in here eight days. So I'm just gonna leave that on there. So yeah, so guys, what I'll do is, um, as time goes by, that'll sit on there for probably about two months, up until, maybe two or three months, up until uh, I plant in the summer crop. So hopefully between now and then, it will have killed off the grass a lot more. Um, if not, I'm gonna have to come up with some other way of keeping the grass down uh, when I do actually put the vegetables in there. So, um, but, it's worth giving it a go and just seeing how how it turns out and um, I need to go this way up to the house this way and just see if it uh, does what I want it to do um, so I'll keep you up to date and I'll when I do an update on it I'll uh, link it up the top here for you and in the comments so that you guys can check that out and see how that's going um, I won't probably pull it back too too often to take a look because I don't want to let the sun in and uh, give it a little bit of an energy boost from having the sun in there. So, hey right guys, thank you so much for joining me on this video and hopefully this will work. Uh, if not, I might be finding some weed matting and uh, putting that down, but otherwise we'll just have to see how it goes. All right, guys, I'll see you next time here at Little Patch.